Hello, I'm Willie, and I'm going to be making some fried chicken today. Um, so let's do that. We're chopping up the chicken thighs into bite sized chunklets. Chicken thighs here because they've got more flavour than the tits of a chicken. And it also has little yellow bits on it, which means it's good chicken. Um, I'm going to cover the chicken in yogurt, soy sauce, some of the spice mix that's going to go on the chicken, and some pickle juice and some sriracha. A lot of people use buttermilk, but I have found that yogurt gives a nice crinkly effect and the chicken comes out nicer, so that's what we're gonna do. So, in with this yogurt, soy sauce, pickle juice, oh, it really does look horrible now. And uh, a mixture of cumin, Szechuan pepper, garlic powder, MSG, and and now for some sriracha. Make sure to be as accurate as possible with your spicy red sauces. It's, it's jam. I've just made a mess. Okay. Was it Metro Station who said, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> That's shit, I'm coming in sriracha. That's what good fried chicken sounds like. And that can go in the fridge for up to 24 hours. Here is one I made earlier, as it's important to always have tricks up your sleeve and chicken in your fridge. A few moments later. So, plain flour, corn flour, I find that doing both of them makes for crispier chicken. Garlic powder, MSG, cumin, Szechuan pepper and black pepper and a lot of people fear MSG but actually it's not that bad for you and it tastes nice so that's going in there. Here's the one what I made earlier and we're sticking it all into our seasoned fleur. We violently shake it to make sure it's fully coated. Look at this. Fry it until it's beginning to look a lot like fried chicken. It should be crispy golden and smell amazing. Three minutes usually does it as it carries on cooking after it's hot oily. Ah. Oh. Cupy Japanese mayo is best here. Some hot sauce for some spice. I'm going pickled red onion, ginger, cucumber. Now some crunchy crunnions, crunnions, which provide texture. And finally some corianders, which really finish off the dish and help your mum be less cross with you because you've got greens on your plate. Thanks for watching. That's my Szechuan cumin fried chicken with all sorts of pickled shit on top of it. This is a fried chicken shoe and this is the end.